All right. Awesome. Good to good to talk to you again, sir. Good to talk to you as well. How you holding? Eh, I mean, you know, we all had our our time, and uh, mm-hmm. it's uh, yeah. I mean, life is life is interesting. I'll put it that way. How how are you? How's the family? You've increased your family since we spoke last. Uh, the, the, yes, uh, our, our, our eldest is almost five, and our youngest is uh, is is very two. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you don't sleep? So that's great. <laughs> uh, we we sleep, but we ru- We play. We're professional goalies during yes. the day. Yeah, I've my my friend's son is that age, and yeah, a lot of a lot of things smashing into my knees, and you know, it's cool. Um, I would imagine. <clears throat> I would imagine it makes it interesting now. You know, you always, I feel like, choose things that interest you to do since, you know, you're doing them. You better be interested. But maybe you're like starting now, you're starting maybe to realize like one day they're going to watch the things I do. Like, obviously, they're not seeing a lot of things, but one day they're going to pop, they're going to notice, oh, dad goes to work and then shows up on the TV. That's interesting. Yeah, we're, we're trying to protect them from that for as long as possible. I don't really think it, it's, uh, it's uh, it's up their their alley. Uh, and Canto is a very big hit. There you go. So <laughs> all right. So so you need to start making Disney musicals. We got I'm it. I'm waiting for the damn call. There you go. You know, import the system. Uh, instead, you know, <laughs> dramas that require you to really get into it. Which I mean, there's very few actors I think who do that better than you. But it's such a commitment you know you don't, you don't make it easy on yourself what what makes you read something to go i'm willing to do that work because you know the good ones always ask a lot of you well i appreciate it uh, uh i mean being a human being's complicated totally and uh and uh and i, I don't got me figured out completely I don't uh, look like i have <laughs> well i I'd, I'd say throw a rock and, oh, no. and, and, and my trade is it allows me the opportunity to to uh to explore the gray yeah. uh, and there's certainly a lot of gray with harry haft in the survivor for sure I mean, that's that's the interesting thing, I think, about almost anyone that you play, whether it's Harry or like, you know, a couple of weeks ago, people, a lot of people saw you in, in Adam Sandler's movie and Hustle. They're, you know, they're, they couldn't be more different characters, but there's a sense of, OK, this guy is figuring this person out. And I know this guy. I mean, I like him. I may not understand him, but I know him. And I think mm-hmm. that's what you do so well is you, especially with Harry, you know, you, my grand people who are my grandfather's age, you go. All right, you you might have been in a war, you might have been in the depression, whatever thing you went through, you went through it and you're not reflecting it every day, but sometimes you'll say something or you'll look somewhere and and you can see something coming back. And and Harry does that so well in the movie. Harry is trying to get away from his past and he can. Yeah. And and much of uh, much of the story, you call it. uh, People want to put it on a shelf and, and and. what I believe is most successful in what Barry did is that it's not a Holocaust film. No. It's not a boxing film. It's a story about uh, trauma and 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 uh, and having to face the, the the most difficult elements in your life and 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 attempt to find some healing. For sure. Uh, I suppose that's that's pretty universal and uh, with this, you know, being a human animal. Yeah. And I mean, <laughs> of course. Like, yeah. Every, and then everyone reacts to that differently. You know, like people who find out what Harry's going through have different reactions in the same way that if something's going on in your life, you know, the people in your life care. But everyone has a statute of limitations on how long they want you to be upset about something, even though you're the one processing it. So, you know, there's I th- always feel like, you know, I watched this last year but I, I i watched it again recently and i i went through something recently where i'm just like i'm sad and people want you not to be sad because they're bored with you being sad and mm. in the movie no one's willing to tell harry that once they know what it is but they all have that sense of but it's been a while and no one is carrying it like he is and that's the nature of it's his trauma it's not the sad story you found out about him it's his story that's right well i suppose i hope you know we all 
we all go to the movies or watch movies or TV and and uh, and sometimes you, you just want you know distraction and yeah. a laugh and then there are other times where 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 we're looking we're looking at someone else and and hopefully it allows us to reflect upon uh some of the things that are, might be a little more below the surface and 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 ideally that that can make us feel less lonely yeah because we're I mean, all we're all working through stuff right i mean we all i mean yeah if you didn't have i mean a couple of the last couple of years i think was a good lesson of like everybody can have the same thing and deal with it differently but we're all sort of going through the same thing and that's what film can do or what you know the the art of making something that people watch whether it's you know a real light comedy or the, the heaviest dramas like <clears throat> if it connects everyone feels like they're going through what the characters are going through and you're either rooting for them to succeed or get through it or you're rooting for the bad guy to lose whatever the experience is you know it's not that everyone's a fighter pilot but for some reason watching top tom cruise be one is an experience people want to share right now like that's the mark of some form of success in the same way that i think watching Harry sort of be able to live his life and have a sense of peace and also have that story told and to be out in the world is something that I think almost anyone who sees it becomes invested in it because you're like, first of all, how was this not a story already? And also you just want that, that little bit of peace for the man. We're all looking for a little bit of peace. Uh, Harry's story is particularly uh, fraught with moral ambiguities. Yeah. And, uh, and, and and how he negotiates them or, or tries to avoid them uh, and ultimately can't uh, in order to 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 not pass along more trauma to his children yeah that's 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 the thing that i think is so relatable even if it's not your experience but a lot of people's parents experience or you know we're told about the the relative who was like, oh, he wasn't, you know, that uncle, whoever, or grandpa, like he's not the fun guy, but you don't know that it's because he just wants you not to have the experience that he did, or, you know, it, it or it becomes a joke. Oh, it's the, it's the old man boxer in the family. Just, you know, pretend the bell rings and he'll, he'll, look, he'll look around and be confused. It becomes, it becomes humor to deal with pain. You know, that's, that's, that's how my family deals with it, I know. And, and humor is a great tool, and and, and Barry incorporated a bit, quite a bit of that uh, oh, wow. within this very uh, difficult subject. Uh, I mean, he loved telling jokes, and 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 some of those jokes are are in the movie. Uh, we do use humor as a, as a coping mechanism, uh, be that in 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 a uh, in I've seen it myself in in surgery rooms, yeah. uh, uh, speaking to soldiers who come back from war. Uh, uh, a difficult, uh, and, and, and as I listen to more and more testimonies of those who survived the camps, yeah. um, survivors of any war must find a way to find the light inside the darkness. Uh, and I think uh, Barry Levinson, our director, uh, is always looking for that music for, in the, in the darkest of moments, you, you have to find a way to laugh. Oh yeah, that, the, the movie has some some very funny moments. I I still like before they're getting ready to train the like eating scene. I just love the little the little one off line because that that also just feels like such a great cultural moment of oh I'm eating pork. Uh, all right, whatever. Like this is <laughs> we did it. All right, never mind. I ate the ham and God doesn't pay that much attention to me. I mean yeah. that's pure Barry Levinson. Uh, so and it, yeah, it just it feels like a moment that person would say. That it just that's that's such a great character moment in a movie that is all I think at its core about the character about this person's character and then how do you move on not even move on but how do you like you said the moral ambiguity of what he had to do how do you then have a life afterwards because you did it to have a life you've got your life now what does that mean how do you how do you walk forward how do you keep walking forward I think it's a darn good question, and despite the ugliness of much of what what he experienced and inflicted yeah. on others, uh, his story of survival, endurance to survive, uh, comes with a cost. And mm -hmm. how how do you take that and, and make it hopefully uh, better for the next generation? Because it's going to keep repeating. 
Yeah. You open the newspaper, you, you read about what's going on in the Ukraine, you look at what's, what's happened in Afghanistan, it's very easy to feel apathetic, to, yeah. s- to feel that the world is just a, 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 a trash fire. And what I, what I hope and what we're intending is to say, despite the trash fire, we cannot become apathetic. Yeah. We have to meet each day as a new day and as an opportunity to choose the light, to choose love, to choose an open heart, despite the horrors around us. And, and ultimately, I think the survivors intending for hope. And yeah. I don't think that's an empty uh, effort. No, I think I think anyone who goes through something intends for there to be hope on the other side. I think that's a very universal, you know, like you said, I want to be better for the next generation. I want to, I don't want, I don't want your, the, you know, the, the sins of the father cliche, you know, every third Springsteen song, like every, you know, make life better for the next guy, you know, but it is, it is a, it's a thing that I think we all go through at a certain point of like, if my life is fine, should I just put blinders on to what's not fine? because I feel like I can't change it. So I'm just going to bring myself down and those problems are still going to be there. I think as you get older, that temptation starts to be there. If you're, if you start to have you know, a relationship, you get married, you have kids, you're like, Oh, well, I've got my little thing going here. If I just worry about that, I'm fine. And I think that's, that's the temptation that lets those things continue is like, well, I'm not going to do anything about it because I got mine in a way. And that's just, it's also just not healthy. I tend to agree. It, 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 it can't be every day. No. Look, there's bandwidth for all of us. And, and Harry, his bandwidth was tested uh, beyond comprehension. Yeah. 73 lives were lost and passed through his bared knuckles, Jew to Jew. Yeah. And had to escape persecution to show up in a country and make a new life for himself. Uh, we all have ghosts. I, I, I'm grateful to say those are not mine. Yeah. My family escaped persecution. Most people we work with uh, escape persecution. Yeah. And if we really dig deep, most people that we know, if we, if we scratch the surface, everyone's, everyone's, uh, everyone's been through uh, in, in an ordeal that they carry inside themselves. And unless we look at that with compassion, uh, we become isolated. And that solitude uh, of pain is, uh, is the enemy of, of the human animal. Oh, yeah. No, as soon as you start looking into, like, your family history, you're like, oh, my grandfather's grandfather was from Eastern Europe. Oh, they, they probably left for not great reasons. Like, nobody was like, oh, let's just go to America on Tuesday. Or were asked to leave. It was. I don't think I'll be alive on Tuesday if I'm not on on the boat over here. It's. It's. I mean, I'm. <laughs> my my father's first generation. Yeah. It's not that far back. Uh, and, and considering the, the 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 state of our country, the rise of anti-Semitism. Uh, it is important to look back in order to, to be more present today. And, and, and through that, tangentially, I believe we can be better partners, friends, or parents, or children, for that matter. 100%. I think that's, as we, I know we're running out of time, that's, that's sort of a great place to leave it on. It's like, if the movie is successful, and I think it is, that's what it seeks to do. Show you how someone can be a better person, a better father, a better member of his society. And maybe, if not inspire you to do that, just remind you that, like, if 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 Harry could be that person, when everything suggests don't, just crawl in a hole and die. That's right. You know, I'm upset over my breakup. Sure, be upset, but like, you can you can you know leave the house today. You can do whatever the thing is that feels too hard because everything felt too hard to him and. That man had the most reason to go, I've, I've lived life. I'm not going to do it anymore and chose to do it and then had a family and then fought for his family in a different way. And it doesn't have to be for kids. You don't have to be a parent to understand this story. No, no it's just about being a good person. Being a person.
Just oh. be a person and in all of its ambiguities. Yeah. Well, um, you're one of my favorite people. So I always appreciate when we uh, when we run into each other, literally once we did run into each other. Um, so I always appreciate when that happens. And it's just great. I love I love seeing you in roles like this. And I I can't wait for more. And I and I, you know, this is just a pleasure. So hopefully next time in person. But it is uh, always nice to check in with you, sir. Likewise, Joey, take good care.